Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Ramirez and today my team and I will be presenting our final capstone project, Automation System Design for an Air Hockey Table with our advisor, Dr. Raul Torres. Our team, the players, is composed of three members, Edwin Peña, Luis Martinez, and me, Jennifer Ramirez. This presentation will consist of the introduction, the objectives, the budget, the hardware system, the software design, and the conclusion. The motivation of this project is to promote the area of electrical engineering for future students. In August 2021, only 7% of the incoming class shows electrical engineering as their major. Automation technology can be used as an educational tool to promote electrical engineering. The objectives of this project are to build an automated air hockey robot used for educational purposes, to have the robot locate the puck, to establish feedback between puck position and motor movement, and to have a budget under $700. However, our updated budget became $1,032. This is due to the fact that fast shipping to Puerto Rico increased the price. Thank you, Jennifer. Before I go into detail with the system hardware, I will give a brief description of the robot. The robot consists of a system of belts and pulleys located on the opposite side of the player that is moved by motors. In the case of the table, we went for a table that is six foot long and three foot wide, as we found that this was an optimal playing field. For the system sensor, we used the Beast webcam bought at a local store that operates at 30 frames per second with a resolution of 1080p. Now, for the mechanical construction, the team opted for 3D printed parts. The system motors were determined to be separate motors due to their zero speed torque. For the Y axis, we went for two NEMA 23 separate motors that work synchronously. And for the X axis, we went for a NEMA 17 separate motor. For the system microcontroller, we went for the Arduino Mega 2650, since separate motor control can be achieved easily here. To be able to control the separate motors, the team acquired the TB660 motor drivers. These have multiple step configurations and can operate at different currents. In our case, we used the full step configuration to achieve higher speeds. And this full step achieves a speed of 200 steps per revolution. Now for the software design, the team chose to use OpenCV with Python as we found it was the best library for the job. The general outline of the OpenCV script is to detect the object, our case, the puck, through a color detection and shape detection. We shall see, we shall hear most of this briefly in the next slide. To be able to communicate with the Python and Arduino script, each of the respective serial libraries were used to achieve this. Thank you, Luis. In this video, I will put on briefly, you will observe a live video of the grid puck being located to our camera. This is accomplished with the help of Open Computer Vision Library using Python script through two main transforms. The first transform is the warp transform to make our video capture the region of interest, which is the air hockey table playing field. The second transform is transforming our red, green, blue video to high saturation value with the lower and upper limits for the color green detection. In this second video, I will put on briefly, you will observe a live video of the green puck being located through our camera, but in the warp perspective, which through the masking mentioned earlier, will detect in real time the puck and will send a signal to our motors when the puck is near the left blue line. This communication between camera and motor 
is accomplished by serial communication using Pi Serial Library. The motors in the Arduino are moved and programmed using an object-oriented programming library called Speedy Steppers, which is made for multiple synchronous motor control movement and speed. The serial communication is also habilitated in the Arduino, so the signal from the Python script arrives with no problem and the motors move. There are three possible movements, front, left, and right, depending where the camera detected the puck is located. In conclusion, some future recommendations are the following. To achieve better results, incorporation of a prediction algorithm in the software design is needed. This prediction algorithm may be implemented if the speed of the puck is calculated. We encourage someone to achieve speed detection for the implementation of the prediction algorithm. Another recommendation is to incorporate the use of timers and interrupt in the Arduino motor control. This is mainly to achieve better acceleration and synchronous motor movement in the motor. Finally, Another good recommendation would have to be to put the table in a setting with constant lighting. Since the HSV transform is vulnerable to light changes. Also, the camera has to be placed directly above the table at a reasonable height, having full view of the table. This is to have a pixel to meter proportional constant that can be sent to the motors so they always hit the puck in a correct position. Here are some references used in the work. Thank you for your attention.